Good day children. Today we will do the note making that is the most important thing in your syllabus and this is the most scoring, sub, uh, scoring question that you should attempt. Each and every one should attempt this properly. So when you attempt this the most important thing is that it has one heading then it has got subheadings so subheadings will come in one two and three like that it will come according to the paragraphs and for the first subheading you will write the sentences it is not sentences you will write the phrases you should avoid using in to by all these you should uh, not use and you should use only the phrases, the words, the bigger phrases that can show the exact meaning, what the sentence, what the point means to say. So here we'll do from this lesson the summer of the beautiful white horse and we'll take from the first page, whatever is written on the first page from here we'll take for the first heading and the phrases that we are going to use. So here it says, I think you all should open your books and key. And from here we'll see, here it says, one day back there in the good old days when I was nine and the world was full of every imaginable kind of magnificence and the life was still a delightful and mysterious dream. My cousin Murad, who was considered crazy by everybody who knew him except me, came to my house at four in the morning and woke me up tapping on the window of my room. So here, the main heading will write in the end and for the subheading, we will give the childhood So this is the heading and here you will see the phrases. The phrases are imaginable, if you don't write, you need to write two or three words then we can write only one also. So here imaginable. Then magnificence, then we have got delightful and mysterious. This way we can write or we can write dreams also over here. If you don't want to write days, you can write dreams. So this way we'll do the first one. Then when we'll do the second one, then we don't need to write these two. We'll just put the heading. Then the subheading will come and then each point will come over here after that. And if you want to write the second one, then we put down number two for the heading and then we will take the next page. Here we see, I knew my cousin Morad enjoyed being alive more than anybody else who had ever fallen into the world by mistake. But this was more than even I could believe. In the first place, my earliest memories had been memories of horses 
and my first longings had been longing to write. This was a wonderful part. So here we will continue. In the second place we were poor. This was the part that wouldn't permit me to believe what I saw. We were poor. We had no money. Our whole tribe was poverty stricken. Every branch of Garo Glanian family was living in the most amazing and comical poverty in the world. Nobody could understand where we ever got money enough to keep us with food in our bellies. Not even the old men of the family. Most important of all, though we were famous for our honesty, we had been famous for our honesty for something like 11 centuries. Even when we had been the wealthiest family in what we liked to think was the world. We were poor, proud first, honest next, and after that we believed in right and wrong. None of us would take advantage of anybody in the world, let alone steal. So here we'll take from the next page and for this, this is about the family. So we can give the second heading. Our family. So this is the second heading. And the points for this will be 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 and 2.4. This way we will get the numbering. And this here we will write about the family. So they were, they belong to Garo Canyon family. Then the second was poverty stricken. Then next is it was uh, proud. First, honest, next. Proud. First, honest, next. Believed right and wrong. So this way the note making is to be done and uh, then after this you continue for the next paragraphs and then you just see whether you can do it or not. It is not necessary to what I am making the same thing you are going to make. You can make something else or some other heading you can give, some other points you can take. It can be like that. Only the format should be proper. First we will write number one is the heading. After that will come uh, subheading. So subheading will give the numbering 1 and in that we will give 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3 and 1.4. Like that we will go and then for the second one we will do like this. Achha children then one thing is then that if you want you have to write abbreviation. And here, 
for whichever you want honest you want you can make h s t you can write honest and afterwards after completing the headings and the points and all then in the end you have to make a i'll show you like this in the end you will make a box and in that you will write key to abbreviations key to abbreviations then in the first one we have written like this then we we'll write in the full form of that the second we have written so this way we have to write the key to abbreviations and here you have to write up to 5 not more than that and this will come in the end in the end means first we we'll write the heading then we we'll have subheading 1 then the points for that subheading 2 then the points for that 3 4 like that we we'll do and it is based on the paragraph the amount of paragraph that are given on the basis of that we will write the subheadings and its points and then after that we will write key to abbreviation this is written only once not after each and every uh, subheading and its points acha and one thing i want to tell you that that abbreviation carries one mark heading carries one mark and the rest of the things it carries or uh, one it carries three marks so 3 4 and 5 this is of five marks and then after this one thing is there you have to write the summary after completing key to abbreviation the summary of the passage will come and that carries three marks so this is out of Eight months, and once you practice it, and you are accustomed to it, how to make the points, how to make the note making, and all. If you are able to do it, then it's clear that you're going to eight mark, uh, going to get eight marks in this. And your unseen passage, the first reading portion, it is of twelve marks. so this is of 20 marks so this also 12 marks is um, means it's definite that you're going to get 12 marks and when you learn to do note making you are definitely going to get 8 marks so your 20 marks are definite to come so this is all for today and i want you all to practice this and if you are not able to understand tell me i'll help you in doing this so that's all for today